actor, producer, and musician who we know and love for his charismatic persona, Keanu Reeves for sure has the heart of many people through his ability to bring depth to his characters with authenticity, whether he is playing an action or a dramatic lead. But did you know that for Keanu, the journey of his career is not all smooth sailing? Are you curious about the entire saga of Keanu from practically no one to an essential talent who starred in many movies that our fingers can keep up the counting? Let's dive even further into his life story and discover what makes Keanu Mr. Breathtaking. Some of you might know that Keanu Reeves is considered as the most kind and helpful man in the entire Hollywood. But did you know that this is not something that normally a man would become, taking into account how harsh his life and cruel fate was to him? Keanu Charles Reeves was born in Beirut, Lebanon on September 2, 1964. He is the son of Patricia and Samuel Nowlin Reeves Jr. His father abandoned his family when Reeves was three years old and the last time Reeves met his father was on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. Keanu Reeves' father was an unusual man. He did not have a university degree and receive his matriculation certificate in prison. He was only 13 when his father left him. After his family broke apart, Reeves and his mother moved to New York City. In New York City, his mother married another man named Paul Aaron, a Hollywood director in 1970. After that, they moved to Canada and his parents got divorced again in 1971. The year is now 1976. His mother married for the third time with Robert Miller, a rock music promoter, and ended her marriage again in 1980. They say the third time's a charm, right? Not quite true for Patricia. For the fourth time, she married a hairdresser named Jack Bond and lasted until 1994. With this many fatherly figures in his life, surely by now we understand where he got his charisma and masculine persona. When Reeves was just nine, he joined a theater production called Damn Yankees. Aaron still remained close to Reeves and this is where his legend started. Aaron offered him advice and recommended him a job at the theater in Pennsylvania, the Hedgerow Theater. Reeves attended four different high schools including Etobicoke School of Arts, where he was expelled. Reeves also has dyslexia. He said, because I had trouble reading, I wasn't a good student. Yeah, a great actor indeed. He was also an ice hockey goalkeeper, a successful one at the LaSalle College. At first, he wanted to be a professional ice hockey player for the Canadian Olympic team, but then he decided to become an actor at the age of 15. He was such a good athlete, even earning him the nickname The Wall. However, just when he was about to pursue his newfound dream, it was shattered into pieces as Keanu got into an accident and his best partner in the team passed away due to drug overdose. Leaving the LaSalle College, he attended Avondale Secondary Alternative School where he got an education while working as an actor. He dropped out at the age of 17 and got a green card through his stepfather and moved to Los Angeles, United States three years later. Despite the hardship, he mustered the courage to move out of his parents' house and managed to work three different jobs at the same time. You gotta admire Keanu's resolve for this. After some time, Keanu finally met the love of his life and life began to change for the better for him. Who knows, fate still has something in store for him in a bad way. His stillborn child didn't make it and his wife lost control of the car two years later and passed away in an accident. At that time, Keanu was 37 years old and was supposed to enjoy his successful career with his loved ones. Let's take a second or two to imagine how cruel fate has been to him. Yet, he still is one of the kindest souls we ever know. He never remarried nor had any children. He strives to become the best version of himself and make the world a better place to live. Reeves started his career at Canadian Broadcasting Corporation program called Going Great and at the same year he made his acting debut in a television series Hang In It. He got more roles in TV movies and shows like Youngblood, River's Edge, and Under the Influence. And in two years, Reeves also appeared in a number of movies, including Dangerous Liaisons, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and In Parenthood by Ron Howard. A lot of screen time for a young lad. 1991 is the year where Reeves started his adult roles. He starred in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure sequel, 
Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Before Reeves became an action star, he made several disappointing movies and he starred in Speed as a bomb expert. But then again, Reeves appeared in films that didn't go well with critics and moviegoers, including Johnny Mnemonic, A Walk in the Clouds, and Feeling Minnesota. He came back with a successful film called The Devil's Advocate, where he played as a lawyer that falls under the spell of the devil. In 1999, he stepped up his career with the all-time favorite sci-fi cult, The Matrix. The franchise successfully launched two sequels in 2003. Following his overflowing passion, Reeves tried more diverse roles in various genres, and this time, he appeared in a sports movie called The Replacement and Hardball. It doesn't stop here. He only expanded his acting portfolio by participating in a romantic comedy movies as supporting roles, such as Something's Gotta Give and Thumbsucker. In Constantine, a movie by DC Comics, Reeves appeared as a demon hunter and in Henry's Crime, he appeared as a bank robber. In 2013, Reeves finally started his directorial debut with Men of Tai Chi and starred himself in that movie at the same time. Now, that's multitasking at its finest. If you think that's all, you are dead wrong, folks. There is one movie that I haven't mentioned so far, and it is arguably the best movie starring the one and only Keanu Reeves. Say it with me, John Wick. We all love to see Reeves in action, and there is no other way to appreciate such things other than watching this movie. And guess what? John Wick 4 is finally coming our way, so keep your eyes peeled on for this one. After the first sequel of John Wick, he later played at the whole truth, to the bone, destination wedding, and always be my maybe. He returned to his fur career starter, Bill and Ted, face the music, and finally in 2021, he returned to play the role of Neo in The Matrix Resurrections. What a career! And he still is not showing any signs of stopping. Living up to his name as someone who is able to bring any character to life, Keanu put his all into every role that he was assigned for. His most notable and inspiring performance was his preparation into bringing the character John Wick to life, which became a masterpiece among other roles he had before. He trained in the arts of Judo, Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, even Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, performing these three different martial arts for the entire series. We can disagree that Reeves has a knack for fighting. In addition, he earned his Judo black belt by his performance in his film alone. If martial arts are not enough to amaze you, Keanu also does firearm and close quarter tactics training from Taron Butler, a former competitive shooter. To bring his character to life, Keanu went through four months of training that made him a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant in the warehouse fight scene in John Wick Chapter 2. Reeves also does his own car and motorbike stunts by himself. He had to drift and use his car in the movie to fight and chase his enemies on motorcycles, all for the sake of bringing the scene to life. Not only he is a charismatic man, Reeves also supports charities and causes. He founded a private cancer foundation that he chose not to use his name for, to help his sister's leukemia and also aids children's hospitals, also providing cancer research. He also loves to be a volunteer. In June 2020, he joined Camp Rainbow Gold to help Idaho children with cancer. Money is the last thing I think about. I could live on what I have already made for a few centuries, said by the stardom himself. Reeves is one of the founders of a publisher called X Artists Books. He also has written two books named Ode to Happiness and Shadows. Reeves also owns several companies, a production company called Company Films with his friend Stephen Hamill and an art motorcycle company, which is also his hobby for motorcycles. Keanu Reeves is a man who greatly deserves our respect and admiration. Such a selfless person, despite his past trauma and tragedy. A beautiful soul with a big heart. Imagine how great of a place this world would be if everyone has a little bit of Keanu in themselves. What do you think of Keanu? Does Mr. Breathtaking sparks an inspiration in you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys on our next drop.